What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father. At Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. This video is entitled, She Wants Him to Be the Man and the Woman. See, a lot of this nonsense that's going on uh, in the dating market is really shenanigans based on a woman wanting a guy to be a man and a woman. What do I mean by this? She wants a traditional man who's a stereotypical breadwinner, who's this masculine guy, who's the hunter-gatherer, right? Provider-protector. But you know what else she wants? She wants that same man to come home and be the nurturer and to be the homemaker. And then doesn't know why these guys are not taking these women serious. I go to work. Why would I have to work 40 hours in the world and work 40 hours at home? It don't take 40 hours in a week to, to be a homemaker. Most men... Who, who are single know this. Who go to work, they know this. But you want a man to be the man and the woman. See, some of y'all think y'all slick and y'all wind up looking stupid. Why do, if I get in a relationship, I don't want to cook because I don't want to cook for no man. You don't even cook for yourself. So when you get with a man, you want to be with a man that pays all the bills and cooks. And cleans. But turn around and y'all will say these men aren't can't be good parents. If they can go to work, provide, protect, budget, you know, cook and clean and do the yard work. Take out the trash, read the babies a story, decorate the houses and paint the rooms. What exactly are you there for? See, and then some of y'all are so, so rebellious, y'all want to be with a man that does all of that so y'all can act like y'all a man by just acting aggressive. I'm just, I'm a man too. Yeah, I'm a man too. You can't even be a woman, but you want to be a man. You're an idiot. And then what winds up happening, and I've seen this year after year after year after year after year after year. You ladies want to get all masculine. And then, we, and then your common sense hits the wall. Forget your looks, your common sense, because then you got to go out into the world and you realize all the things that men do and you realize you don't want to do all that. Oh, you want to be with a man that, that, that is the traditional man that does all the man stuff and then he needs to come home and do all the woman stuff too. And, and not just in the house, but just with you. He has to nurture you. You know, he has to love you and cater to you. And men are supposed to cater to women and women are supposed to cater to men. But what I'm saying is, you want to back out of everything you do. And then you meet this superman who does it all, but he's supposed to be loyal to you? He's supposed to be faithful to you. He's just supposed to be there and do everything for you. He's supposed to be so selfless. And you can't do anything for him because he a man. I, uh, why would I want to be with a man who's going to do... Uh, uh, why I got to do something? I can't even make that man a plate. He could cook the whole dinner after he comes home after a long day of work and then go go cut the grass and then change the oil and he going to cook dinner. Why I got to make him a plate? This makes sense. Where are all the good men at, though? Where are the brothers at? I'm a queen. I'm a god. Do you realize you fools who keep calling yourselves gods as female? There are gods and goddesses. You know, God is masculine. 
goddess is feminine. You can't even see yourself as a god. You can't even see yourself as a woman, as feminine, and you can't even see yourself as a goddess. This ain't a man's problem. It's your problem. Now, I gotta go here. I gotta go there. So, in practical application, what exactly are you doing? Because, see, you want these guys to basically approach you like a man, get your number like a man, take you out on dates like a man, you know, seduce you like a woman. Oh, <laughs> encourage and inspire you like a woman would be you want him to be your muse and empower you while you do nothing for him because he's a man and then when you by yourself you realize all the things that these men do oh my god then you're relying on your girlfriends to do all the stuff that you said these men that wasn't nothing that they do but I just don't understand I, I, I just don't understand you know what's the problem here can you tell me can you explain this to me can you really because now y'all meeting men who protect and provide and you know as, as their masculine role and they're homemakers and they're nurturers. And then their, their masculine side is like, I'm gonna go get some. Look, I can go get multiple women because y'all ain't doing nothing. Why would you do that? What actually are you doing? Seems like you got it pretty good doing nothing. I bring a lot to the table. Like what? I went to go get my hair done. My nails got done. I went to brunch with my girlfriends. That got to do with the guy. You know, I'm not wearing anything sexy for him. I'm not trying to have sex with him. He trying to beat up, dig all in my guts. So you don't even want to have sex with these guys? And you got a problem with these guys because they're guys? And you want these guys to do everything for you, but you want to do everything for yourself and everything for your girlfriends? I kind of see the pattern here. Even though y'all don't want to say it, I see the pattern here, right? Now, here's the issue. How in God's green earth can you expect somebody? Because you want to be a wife. How? You want to be in a relationship. How? Like, what? What? You want to be in a relationship with a man that does everything that a man is supposed to do and everything that a woman is supposed to do for a woman. So he's supposed to do everything a man is supposed to do for a woman. He's supposed to do everything that, that, that a woman is supposed to do for a man. And you're supposed to just sit on the couch and act like, I'm imitating the man. I'm sitting here not doing nothing. But he's doing everything a man is doing. But how would you? So how was you sitting on the couch, doing nothing, imitating being a man, when he's doing his manly part and he's doing your female part? See, it sounds like to me you're just lazy, and then you're mad because you wind up being lonely because you're lazy, and then when you when you figure out you're lazy and you wind up being lonely, you got to start learning how to actually be a woman when it's too doggone late to start learning in the first place just by age. It's never too late to learn, but it's too late for you to start and, and act like you don't know why you got yourself in this position. 
I'm just saying. I'm done. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.